All right, I hope all of you are doing well. I'm here with uh, my friend and photographer, Roberto Licardi. Yes. So in the past couple of months, I've been just focusing on creating all the content for the uh, Academy. But uh, one of my clients reached out to me and wanted me to sell his uh, Cessna 172. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you how I put the things that you learned in the sales process module and practice in the real life. So um, he's actually gonna be taking some pictures for me because just so you know, I'm gonna be acting as a full service broker with this client. So he just wants to pay my commission and he wants me to pretty much take care of the whole entire process, uh, including you know checking the logbooks, filling out the aircraft description form, taking pictures, the whole nine yards. So that's what I'm gonna do. And before we get started with the pictures, which is the first step that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be doing today, I'm gonna brief him on different things on the aircraft that I want him to, you know, just be careful with, right. like the propeller and static wicks and things like that, because they're expensive. We don't want anything to break, right? So let's do that first. Okay, Roberto, so we have the propeller right here. Um, just don't get close to it. Okay, gotcha. Do not touch it. Of course. I'm touching it, but I know what I'm doing, you right? You got it. <laughs> you um, got it. Because, like, literally, if, you, like, if you're taking a picture of something and you grab it mm -hmm. and you pull down on it, right. it can start the aircraft. If really? it's a hot magneto, yeah. Oh, no, that's so, crazy. So um, always walk around it with, like, yeah. a distance. Okay, so keep a distance. Just respect the propeller. Gotcha. Um, here's the static port, so just don't touch it. Don't touch the pitot tube. Okay. Let's see, what else do we have here? Gotcha. Um, we're about the same height. Right. So I don't think we're going to have any issues, like, Going down Walking here, gotcha. just watch yourself. You know, don't don't hit the yeah. ailerons or the flaps. Be dangerous. Let's see. I don't see any static wicks yet. Uh, be careful with this part right here. This is the rudder trim. Okay. Um, it's set like by the mechanic, so just try to like stay away from that. Of course. Um, Careful with the antennas too. Like, if you're taking a picture or something, just don't, uh -huh. don't, don't grab even, it. Or gotcha. Pretty much anything that's like um, dangerous, don't touch it. Like, yeah. Sensible, yeah. Like. Pretty much. Gotcha. And always watch your head. <laughs> always watch your head. Gotcha. gotcha. That's pretty much it. Sounds okay. good. Sounds good to me. I would say also when we're taking the pictures. Um, definitely different angles. Uh, one that I like is uh -huh. a 45 degree angle. Gotcha. So like, yeah, that part of shot. Here. Yep. Okay. But I know the sun is kind of... We'll make it work. All right. We'll make it work. Awesome. That's Let's do it. Work. Sounds good. One very important thing that I want you to remember is as you can see the airplane is outside right now and I pulled it out. This particular client trusts me to handle his airplane, pull it out, you know, push it back in, that kind of stuff. When you're starting out, do not do that. The reason why he trusts me is because I have experience doing these things. I was a mechanic and blah, blah, blah. You know how it goes. So in a situation like this where you hired a photographer or you're coming to the airplane to check it out, to you know, do a, an inspection, see the airplane, always go with your client. Always go with the owner. Don't be doing these things on your own. I can do it because I know what I'm doing, but until you get experience, do not do it. Another thing too is when you're starting out, you know, it might be a little bit expensive to hire a photographer. But hiring a photographer has its benefits. And one of them is, man, we have a blasting sun over there, right? So if you would do these pictures on your own, you know, with your iPhone or whatever camera, camera you have and you don't know about photography, uh, honestly, I don't think these pictures would be coming out very, very good. So that's an advantage of having a photographer because him, for example, has different lenses and things like that that can help with, with the sun. So let's talk to him real quick and see what he says about it. Okay, Roberto, so tell me more about, because like that's one thing I noticed, there's- A lot of sun. A lot of sun, yeah. 
if someone without any experience okay try to take pictures of this airplane like you know i'm, I'm talking about let me take you out of the side gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> like if someone try to take pictures with an iphone or doesn't okay. have knowledge about photography okay i mean how do you counteract that like, okay so there's a couple of things you can do with your you know with the photos so you know first of all you got to drop the brightness how do you do that so there's a couple of ways to go about it first thing you have to have your iso or your iso the iso is basically the sensitivity to light have it all the way down 100 like mine can go up to 6400 so i have it at 100 i don't know if you can tell but it says 100 and that's that's the lowest it can go okay now i keep my aperture at 1.4 which means it gives me like that nice blurry background really for uh cinematography like kind of vibes so but if i have my iris open or my um aperture open that means i'm letting a lot of light in so even though i have my iso low i'm letting a lot of light in so what i can do to counteract that is use a filter okay so this is called an nd filter and it's a neutral density filter so i i put it on right and now now i'm gonna have a darker image just because i have like a kind of think of a glasses sunglasses basically for the camera uh that way it's a lot easier for the camera to comprehend what's really looking at it um and also just you know you'll have a really nice photo with that and also one more thing you can do is on top of the nd filter you can add what it's called the cpl filter and that's basically like um kind of like the gopro look it it counteracts any reflections or refractions mm. of light so i can see if you look at the plane you see how the windows has a lot of refractions yeah i can cut through that if i use the cpl filter and it'll look really nice huh. so not only is it darker now so well exposed but now it's clearer and that also removes a lot of refraction from the sky so a sky the like all kinds of refractions so it makes it look really crispy and that's something you can do to you know make it better so there you go. And this is why you hire a photographer. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Some of the tips I would recommend, you know, regardless if you're a photographer or not, um, you know, make sure when you're taking the photos to not show your shadow. Because obviously that becomes really messy and you don't want to be editing or showing like a, and part of my, my language is like half-assed, you know, job, you know, just make sure it's very clean, very crisp. Uh, your clients want to see the professionalism that you, you know, you must show. So obviously just that's one. Two, make sure your, surround, your surroundings are clean, um, regardless of where it's at. That's just something. And if it's dirty, then just kind of crop it with your camera, you know, just don't show what's clutter don't show uh something that's gonna take their attention away from it because you want to show the best of the best to your client so those are just two tips there's a little bit more i can tell you but as we go i can tell you and go ahead from that something else that you kind of need to show is perspective um you want to make sure your client sees how big the plane is uh i know most you know most pilots are going to know about the planes but you know it's just nice to show you know a little bit of comparison to real size stuff so that they can kind of see and already know what they have in mind so that when they get it they already know what they're expecting That's all right so now we're gonna do the inside and uh, something that i personally like is i want the avionics i want the avionics to be on so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to turn on the master there you go and then I'm going to do the avionics master and there you go. So that's going to look a lot better in the pictures. <laughs> 